welcome. So nice spending this time with you today. Sometimes when we meditate or try to abide as consciousness, there are still so many thoughts that keep drawing our attention back into so many different things. Things that happened in the past, the things I need to do next, or just random storylines. And we might wonder, well, if I can't even stay here for one minute, how am I going to abide as consciousness in daily life? I think it is helpful to remember what thoughts actually are. They are ideas or fabrications of the mind that come and go. No thought lasts forever. And their lifespan usually depends on how much attention we give to them. We cannot stop thoughts as long as we live in this body. But we can learn how to manage them much better. If you can observe a thought, it is not what you are. You have the power to decide how much attention to give to them which determines how long they live and how dense they feel. Persistence is very important in the beginning. To take this moment each day and stop. Bring all your attention here to what really is and who you really are. If thoughts come, let them go. If they come again, let them go again. It might be that simple in the beginning. Do not connect with any storyline. Simply observe thoughts come and go. Come and go. And after a while, perhaps you feel more calm. Perhaps you sense a field of awareness in which they arise. Like a screen on which thoughts appear and disappear. But it is not affected by them. Can you sense the immensity of this awareness? In this vast space, thoughts are so tiny, they have no power. They belong to a reality that is partial. One singular body with fleeting concerns. But now you can see that you only imagine this body to be so real. It is here and it is good. But from your viewpoint now, you can see that you need not to worry about it. It will move its ways naturally. All you need to do is turn your attention here and everything else will follow naturally. This is all you ever needed to do. For some reason, this is why this entire world exists. Why we are here together right now as one. It is not the other way around that you first need to find a better place in your life, more time, a quiet space. All of these things will follow naturally when you take this time to stop. Spend time with yourself, with who you really are. 
the awareness in which everything else arises and beyond that the unspeakable it is up to us how much we commit ourselves to this truth how much we grow tired of playing this game of ping pong between person and presence between playing and getting heard or lasting peace and happiness did I do the dishes while listening to satsang? Or do something else at the same time? Or did I write this important text message while abiding as consciousness? But there comes a time when we've had enough of this broken record. We have played it to the last chord and we are ready to abandon ourselves completely to this truth. We know that nothing else compares to this. And each time it becomes more beautiful. What else in this world has this quality? Usually things become less beautiful in time, less potent, less exciting, less fulfilling. But the truth of who we are never stops growing. Although it is always complete. It is always fresh completely. Although it never changes. It is what we all are searching for consciously or unconsciously. Each time we feel dissatisfied about something, let down or bored, we are essentially yearning for what we remember about our true self. So keep coming here. Confirm, this is what I am. But even that is not needed. It will happen naturally. We can never not be what we truly are. This pull towards our true self is the story of all life. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. And if you like, subscribe to my channel so we can stay connected.